The multi-choice function is used to display a dialog box with multiple options where users can select one or more choices simultaneously. It is commonly used in scripts for customizing user interactions. The function can use three parameters. Choices, it is the list of options shown to the user. Defaults, it is the default selected state for each option and it is using Boolean true or false. Title, it is our last parameter and it is optional. It sets a text on the top of the dialog box. First, we have a while true do loop. This loop will run continuously, repeatedly executing the code inside it. Inside the loop, we check if the isVisible function returns true, meaning the game guardian window is visible. If the window is visible, we set visible to false in order to hide the game guardian window from the screen, keeping the script running in the background without distractions. Next, we define a variable called choices. This is a list, or table, that contains the options we want to show to the user. The options are speed hack, unlimited health, free coins, and quit. Each of these options is a string, and they represent the choices the user can select in the multi-choice dialog box. We define a variable called defaults. This is a table that sets the default selection state for each option in the choices list. Each value is a Boolean, either true or false. In this case, all values are set to false, meaning none of the options will be selected by default when the dialog box first appears. Now, we define a variable called selection. This variable stores the result of calling the multi-choice function, which displays the dialog box with the options from choices. The defaults table is used to set the default selection states, and game script is the title of the dialog box. The 13 empty spaces are used here to adjust the alignment of the title text for better visibility. The function will return a table with the user's selections. We check if selection is not nil, meaning the user made a selection. If the user selected speed hack, then selection with bracket notation 1 will be true, and we enter the first if statement. Inside, we can add the code for the speed hack feature. For now, we just show an alert. If selection with bracket notation 2 is true, meaning the user selected unlimited health. If this is the case, we enter the if statement and can add the code for the unlimited health feature.
If selection with bracket notation 3 is true, meaning the user selected free coins. If this is the case, we enter the if statement and can add the code for the free coins feature. Finally, we check if selection with bracket notation 4 is true, meaning, the user selected quit. If this happens, we enter the if statement and first show an alert saying exiting the script. Then, we use the OS exit function to stop the script and exit the program. After all the selection checks, we close the nested if statements with end. Finally, the sleep function pauses the script for 100 milliseconds before the loop runs again. This helps prevent excessive CPU usage while waiting for user input. The while true do loop will then repeat, running continuously until the user exits the script. Remember, multi-choice function, it is similar to choice function, but with multi-choice, users can select multiple options at once. You can use this to create more interactive and customizable scripts.